Hi, my name is Sam Dhanishekaran and welcome to this Database Lessons video series. In this video, we will continue to look into System Global Area Database Buffer Cache. There is a prerequisite for this video. Um, if you check my channel, YouTube channel and uh, look at this database videos playlist, um, you would see SGA part 1, part 2 series and uh, uh, I mean, if not the entire playlist, you know, uh, at least SGA part one. Uh, you, you need to start with SGA part one. Thanks. Having said that, let's go into the lesson. Okay. So in the previous video, uh, we saw uh, block status, right? We saw like there are three types of blocks uh, status, and they are free, clean, and dirty. Right. So, uh, a database buffer cache will have blocks. Remember, this resides in SGA, which resides in the memory RAM. Okay, and these blocks can have any one of these three statuses. All right, one is free. The next one is clean. The next one is dirty. Right? I marked dirty as red, clean as green, and free as white. Okay? So, all these blocks, they have their own statuses. Okay? But, how do the sessions access this? And how do they prevent multiple sessions uh, modifying uh, the blocks when it is actually being used by uh, a particular session and it doesn't want that to be modified okay so that's where this access mode come into the picture okay so when a session accesses the database buffer cache it accesses it in two modes. One is called pinned mode. The other one is called free or unpinned mode. Meaning that if a session accesses this block okay, and accesses this block and this block but it's not done accessing this thing meaning that you know, it's doing some internal sort or it's big where clause or something and it still needs this block then right it marks it as pinned meaning that this block can never be aged out okay um, if the database buffer cache becomes almost full and the according to LRU something has to be pushed down uh, it will not push down the blocks which are pinned okay so it's kind of like a locking mechanism at the memory level used by the sessions to say that hey I'm using this block okay so when a block is pinned in the database buffer cache it cannot be modified by other session simultaneously Got it? once it releases the other uh, other session can pin it and modify it okay and same way a block can be accessed in unpinned mode meaning that I just need to read the data that's it I don't want to block anyone modifying it I just need to read the data so the block is accessed in unpinned mode okay so two things you need to remember the blocks could be in any one of these statuses and the block can be accessed in these modes Thank you for watching.